Alright guys, welcome to another tutorial and in this video what I want to do is eventually we're going to be adding some more animations to this guy so he can jump and run and do a bunch of cool stuff like that. But right now, check it out. His world is pretty small. I think he needs a little more area than this stupid platform to walk around. So what I want to do first of all, just scroll out a little bit and select all of these tiles just by holding shift on your keyboard. And once you have them selected, hold control to make another instance like this. And I would just want to give them like a little, um, well probably just one just to hop on. And actually, if I hit view, make sure you have snap to grid. So he's going to start right here. And then I'm going to have, once we have the jump command, the user can jump down. And then this is going to be the ground. So I'll hold down control. And just go ahead and build a little ground for him. And this is probably enough. So now if I scroll out, you guys can see that we now have a very simple and basic world. He's going to start right here. And actually if I run this, Okay, so he can like slide down, but eventually he's going to be jumping and running and uh, he's hitting his head on that thing. That's a little bit of a problem. And also, if we look at the screen, the screen is kind of a, uh, you know, crappy resolution. We want to give this a little bit better resolution. Allow the user to see more of the gaming area. So once you have a little world made, remember this dotted line right here, this is the window. This is pretty much the user's view of how big they can see. Now in order to expand this, if you go to your projects tab right here, right next to your layers tab, and you select the word new project, these pretty much give you the properties for your entire project, your entire game, so to speak. So right now the window size is 854 by 480, which is to make it like high def, which is 1280, 720 high def. And this is gonna, watch this dotted line whenever I press enter. That's going to make uh, the window a little bigger. And of course, the bigger the window size, the better the resolution. So now when I run it, check it out. Our dude, much better view. And uh, well, he is good to go, basically. So the reason that I made this tutorial real quick is because in the next tutorial, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding the rest of the animations pretty much to get them running, jumping, and a whole bunch of stuff. So it's going to be kind of long. So um, that's what you have to look forward to in the next tutorial. But for now, as always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.